Now let's talk about um, the inverse of the function. So how do we find the inverse of the function? So let's say we have been given uh, a function f of x to be equal to uh, 2 then divided by x minus 2. Okay. And then let's also have a g of x to be equal to uh, let's just put it as 1 divided by x plus 1. Now, what if they ask us to find f of inverse? So inverse, sometimes they can ask you to say find 1 over f of x. So 1 over f of x, it is the same as f of inverse. Okay? It is the same. Okay, so sometimes they can use 1 over f of x, that is the same as the inverse. So now in this case, we want to find f of inverse. <clears throat> now, how do we do it? To find the inverse of the function, what you have to do is, you replace this part with y, and then make x as a subject of formula. Okay, now after making x as a subject of formula, where there is y, replace it with x. Then that is the inverse of that function. So, for example, in this case, we have f of x is equal to 2 over x minus 2. So, where there is f of x, I'm going to replace it with what? With uh, y. So, I'm going to say that y will be equal to 2 divided by x minus 2. My goal here is to make x as a subject of formula. So, I'm going to say, I'll cross multiply. Here, there is 1. So, I'm going to say this is going to be xy minus 2x this is going to be equal to 2. So my goal is to make x as a subject of formula. So I'm going to say that I'm going to shift 2y to the other side. xy has to be equal to 2 plus 2y. Okay. From here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both sides by y, both sides by y. Therefore, my x will be equal to 2 plus 2y divided by y. Now, what I'm going to do now from here is, in this part here, where there is y, I'm going to replace it with what? With x. So, I'm going to say, my f of inverse of x is going to be equal to 2 plus 2x. Where there is y, I'm replacing it back with what? x. Everything divided by what? x. Okay? Now, if you want, you can factor out 2 on top there but it's okay you can just leave it here meaning that this is the function of f of x now let's find the the inverse now we are saying that our f of this is our f of inverse which is a 2 plus 2x over x let's find the inverse of the function of g so what would be the inverse in this case? Remember, we are replacing this with, we are trying to find this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this with y and make x as a subject of formula. I'm going to say that y will be equal to 1 divided by x plus 1. My goal is to make x as a subject of formula. I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to have xy plus y is going to be equal to 1. Okay, I'm going to shift y to the right hand side. It's going to be x, y will be equal to 1 minus y. Next, I'm going to divide both sides by y. Both sides by y. My x will be equal to 1 minus y divided by y. Meaning that my f of, my g of inverse is going to be equal to now where there is x in this part here where there is y i'm going to replace it with what with x so it's going to be one minus x divided by x so this is my inverse of g okay now from there they can also ask us to find from there they can also ask us to find um they can ask us to find f of g then they say inverse so what it means there is that they want us to find f of g first then we need to find the inverse of that f of g okay so this is what we are going to do 
first I have to find f of g. Okay. So what would be my f of g? What it means here is that we did this. This is a composite function. So what it means here is that in the function of f, where there is x, I'm going to put g. Okay. So for example, here is going to be um, my f is 2 over x minus 2. But where there is x, I have 2 over x. Where there is x, I'm going to put 1 divided by what? x plus 1. Then I have minus 2. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going, I'll, I'll need first to, uh, to finish up with this part, the down part here. So what would be the down part? This down part here, it is going to be 1 over x plus 1, then we have 2, then this is the same as we have 1 here. So I'm going to say my common denominator is going to be x plus 1. So x plus 1 there, we're going to have 1 here, minus this one, we're going to have a 2x minus 2. So on top there, it's going to be 2 and 1 is going to give us negative 1. So we're going to have uh, negative 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. This is what we're going to have here, meaning we have this now. We have 2 divided by negative 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. So this, we have 2 on top divided by, we have a negative 2 minus 1, negative 2x minus 1, then everything divided by x plus 1. Now this again is the same as 2 times, I'm going to get the reciprocal of this, it's going to be x plus 1, everything divided by negative 2x minus 1. Okay, so now I'm going to say 2 times x and 2 times 1, which is going to be 2x plus 2, everything divided by negative 2x minus 1. Meaning that the whole of this is now going to be replaced by 2x plus 1 divided by negative 2x minus 1. Okay, so I'll continue from here. Okay, I'll continue from here. I'm going to say that the whole part there is going to be replaced by we are going to have a 2x plus 2, everything divided by negative 2x minus 1. Now, this, this is a f of g. Now, they want us to get the inverse of this. But what I have to do here, I can factor out negative down there if I want. But if, if I want to leave it like this, I can leave it. So this is f of g. Okay, so this is our f of f of g of x. Now, they want us to find the inverse of this. So, we are going to replace this part with y, then we make x as a subject of formula. So, it's going to be y is going to be equal to 2x plus 2 divided by negative 2x minus 1. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going to make x as a subject of formula. I'm going to cross multiply and I'm going to have negative 2xy minus y because 1 times y is going to give me y, so it's going to be is equal to 2x plus 2. I'll shift 2x to the left hand side. At the same time, I'm going to shift the y negative y to go to the other side. So what are we going to have? So this is what we're going to have. We are going to have a negative 2xy minus 2x has to be equal to has to be equal to, we, we have 2 minus, this is, it was minus, so this is going to be plus y. My goal is to make x as a subject of formula, that is going to be my inverse now. So I'm going to say, I need to factor out x, so I'm going to have x, open brackets, I'm going to remain with negative, negative 2y minus 2, has to be equal to 2 minus y. I'll divide both sides by negative 2y minus 2, even here by negative 2y minus 2. So these they'll cancel. I'll have my x to be equal to 2x, or is 2 minus 2 plus y divided by negative 2y minus 2. Now from here, this is my inverse. Where there is y, we're going to replace it with x, as we know. So this is going to be now equal to, mm, where there is the, y, I'm going to replace it with what? So it's going to be plus x, everything divided by negative 2x minus 2. But if I want here, I can, 
I can fact out negative. That is going to be very much simple for us. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say um, 2 plus x. Everything divided, negative is going to be like this. Plus 2. So now I can divide both sides by negative. It's going to be negative 2, which is the same as I can start with x. It's going to be negative x minus 2. Everything divided by 2 x plus 2. So this is going to be my final answer. Okay.